Air Flare is sold. Let's say goodbye. It's a moment. I'm down to build the craziest version of any Huracan anyone's ever seen. Could this be the next Tire Slayer? And you guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a teaser for you that I promised you a little while ago and I don't think I ever told you. The 720 GTR build needs its first livery. Much as I love white and carbon, Looks clean, doesn't it? It does look clean. It's like a stormtrooper. Storm, that's the word, stormtrooper. But you know what? That doesn't work on DD, does it? No, I want bright and crazy and bright exciting. And crazy. We're gonna reveal a color that we're gonna use in the livery for the 720 GTR for the edition one. Right now, because we just popped in to Mirror Image Customs. I'm gonna show you what I ordered. It took a couple of weeks. Thanks to Protective Film Solutions for hooking me up because they couldn't get this in Canada. Special custom order. We shipped it here. Shipping just for the wrap was $500. Near Image Customs. How? How are you? Good. Yep. I'm great. Great. Material came in. Joe's here. These guys are excited to see it. Not we're not it. gonna. We're not gonna tease them. We're actually gonna show them. Normally, I lie about what color we're doing. This is really cool. This was on two previous DD cars. So you guys, without any like tricks or anything like that. Bam! Remember the neon orange you guys came to know and love on the Tire Slayer and on the Mercia Lago. Well, I have 75 feet of that stuff, all laminated. I was in love with this color. Like, look at how it stands out. Look how bright this is next to this. Isn't it something? Have you I never seen this before? No, I love it. It's, it's amazing. It jumps compared to anything else you pop out of your fast. It, it just glows. Stands right out. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. It does literally glow in the beginning. So we're going to take this, you guys. We have a whole livery. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it's going to look like, but you're just going to have to wait. I'm really excited. Yeah. Mirror Image Customs. We'll give them a follow on the gram, and then we'll do a reveal in a few days. Now we got to go back over to August Luxury Motor Cars. We need to go car shopping. As you saw in the last video, Tire Slayer was put up for sale. And guess what? In one hour, there was like a bidding war on the the tire slayer no surprise cash was sent we were told literally the person put a deposit down and then an hour later wired the full amount it's paid for it's done we'll reveal who that is later but tire slayer is sold we have to put a sold sticker on that thing it's a done deal i see the car that i think could be a potential tire slayer replacement now this would be pretty crazy but what a platform to start with you guys now i've always liked the huracan all the huracan models are absolutely amazing you got to think the car that i built the tire slayer off of was the cheapest huracan model to date they've ever made the 580-2 was cheaper than the 610-4 and my car was highly specced out typically a 580 would come with steel brakes it wouldn't come with the crazy branding package and all that Alcantara. It wouldn't necessarily come with the forged carbon engine bay, but whoever bought that car before me, because I actually bought it used, really spec that thing out, because my car has all that. Ceramic brakes, the full interior package, forged carbon engine bay, but what do you think if we got a Performante to replace the Tire Slayer with? A Performante would be a pretty bad Tire What's Slayer. What's really cool is you and I, back in March 2017, were at the launch of the Performante. We saw the green one there. That's Remember true, that? yeah. So it's kicking it back to that car was like brand new. Now you got all the ala, all the arrow. We got some carbon pieces already on it, but really at the end of the day, I wanted to use this as a base. So we'd be stripping a lot of this body off and putting my Super Trofeo Evo kit onto this car. Now there's only one thing about this car that I probably don't love. And that is, this is all wheel drive. I'm used to the Tire Slayer being two-wheel drive. We want the rear wheels to spin. I don't know, but we could look into, could you make this a two-wheel drive car? What do you think? That's Alex possible. Choi did it. Choi did it. Steal the Performante and take it for a drive. Matt. Hey, man. I already spent too much money this week. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you <laughs> son of a I noticed your Performante is back. It is are you back. driving that thing? Yeah. Of course you are. I love that car. I know you love that car. What's your favorite thing about that car? The color. The Grigio Telesto. Non rose gold wheels, yeah. Yes, real we bronze get wheels. In exchange for the oh. keys to your Lamborghini. Just some, some, uh, That's a great trade. Oh, a little YSOB limited edition merch. Yeah, there you go. Great trade. Thank hey, you. thank you. What's the price on that thing now? For you? Yeah. Oh, that's cheap. Hold on. That makes me sound like an arrogant prank when I say it's cheap. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys the price right now. There is another runner up besides this car. It's that car. I'm not going to show you that car yet. We're going to go for coffee. We're going to meet Gabe. We'll see what Gabe thinks. Whoa, guys. Look at the interior of a Performante. It is really that next level. All the forged carbon, forged carbon, forged carbon paddles. This is thing's sick. And it doesn't have race seats, so you can actually drive Honestly, it. Honestly, this interior is way nicer than mine. We have the Alcantara steering wheel. One of the coolest things about a Performante is this. Remember how I told you, if you ever have a Performante, you don't drive in this mode. You drive in this mode, you hold this down, you go 
one screen and you go one more and then check this out. Now, in a Performante, you can do something very special. You can change the display. In my Huracan, it just changes a few basic colors and that's it. It doesn't even really do anything. In this, check this out. Sport, and then the best one, Corsa. That is one of the coolest things about this car. That right there makes me want this car. That's stock? That's stock. It sounds it way better than a stock, stock base Huracan. Oh man, this thing is sick. Let's go for a ride, I got happy feet like Mike. This car had a Nürburgring record at one time. It did, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds so good, that's all stock. It shifts so fast. It shifts really quick. I love this car. <laughs> now my car shifts really quick too because it's Motec. Just the ECU in my car is $16,000. The car sold, so his old car. Oh! That's right, dude. God, I'll give you that one. Look at this thing. That thing is cool. Hey, look at this! It's Gabe! Hey! Hey, it's Gabe! What, what do you is think? This? Look at this color. New tire slayer? Look at the wheels! Is this thing sick? Dude, the spec on this is insane. This interior is on another level. Like all this green stitching, you have a whole Alcantara dash, which is sick. The steering wheel, the forged paddles. I have not bought this yet, Gabe. I know you're gonna ask, is this the replacement? I am shopping. But it is like the perfect spec. I'm not a Performante guy, but if I was to buy one, that color combo is absolutely insane. It's Gelfi. Yeah, it is. But it's also flashy. The gold wheels give it that pop. Like it's, it's ah. So good. Look at this thing. Could this be the next tire slayer? I need you guys to comment below what your thoughts are on the Performante. We do have another car that is like a Performante contender. And I think you guys know what it is. It is the Huracan Evo. Believe it or not, they have one back in August. Oh, really? What if I could somehow use all this active arrow, so all the ducting and stuff, in my Super that Trofeo really Evo cool. kit? So then you have the downforce of the Evo kit, Dave, and then on top of that, you have all the ala working for you. Modding the roof scoop to go to oh, that. Yeah. Oh, the roof scoop on that. You yeah, son genius. of a no. genius. I know. Genius. I'm gonna let Dave drive the Performante back. So I wanna see the difference between my 610 because they're both all-wheel drive cars. Mine's tuned. I almost shouldn't drive this car because I might end up going like, hey, can I trade in the Huracan for the Performante? Yeah, I'm excited for this. Jump in. All right, jump It's in. all yours. You're at the helm. I'm gonna go with Gabe because I don't trust his driving. <laughs> Gabe, how has Porsche GT3 ownership been so far? Exciting. <laughs> all the fun. I absolutely love it. We had this for like less than a week and got an engine light. <laughs> yes. But Actually, two engine lights. Two engine lights. And a broken fuel relay. That was like Mercy ownership. But then the Mercy now has been bulletproof. That's why I got warranty and everything is gravy now. Go oh, gravy. I like the words you use. You're yes. speaking my language. I love gravy. I know I say this every time I get out of a Porsche. I might have to add one of these to the DD fleet. I really like the Porsche. I really like a GT3. RS? 2RS? I don't know, with some turbos? What do you think? 2RS. 2RS? Cup car. Go crazy with it? Yeah, you know? You can easily get a thousand horsepower to those. Yeah, and they look so cool. Your car looks good, bro. Thank Clean. You. Slammed. Front. That's with the front lift up? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's impressive. All right, Gabe, before this video goes any further and Damon spends even more money from the company, just it's an endless pit rock form. One of our oldest sponsors since almost the beginning to make these epic cases for cell phones. Like a sick case to military spec fall protection and it features a neodymium magnet. You know what that means? You can take selfies at the gym like Damon does. <laughs> a cell phone's like $1,000, $2,000. The cases are like 50 bucks. It makes no sense not to have a case. Now, Gabe has no case on his phone right now. And Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> what happened the other day? So I'm usually really good, but I dropped it here. This even had a cover on it before. 
Uh, but it wasn't rock form. No, I had it cracked there, and I cracked the back. I looked to replace this, $600. It's really easy, you guys. Grab a case, protect your phone, and also, rock forms are really good to us. When you guys support them, it supports us. It allows us to do awesome videos for you guys. And again, they've been fantastic, so please click the link in the description, have a look around, you get an epic discount using the code below. It's not just for sticking to metal things and taking selfies. There's a little attachment for your vent, it sticks on, plus those ones actually lock into place for like bikes and things like that. Like That's legit, amazing. it's active gear for the active person, or like me, you're not that active, but you're clumsy, watch this, ready? Here I have the new iPhone, the brand new iPhone 11. Oh, nice. Pro, the extra camera, it's there again. If I had done that without a case, I would just lost like $3,000, but thanks to Rock Form, I'm protected. Both gonna be okay, not a scratch on it, Damon. Me, not a scratch on it. <laughs> you guys, Rock Form, it's simple. Protect your phone, links in the description, massive discount for Look you guys. This. Perfect screen. You wanna see it again in replay? Look. Yeah, do it again. You see how far that was? That's a 10 foot drop. Look at it. Perfect screen. Hey, you're in selfie I, mode. I dare you, I dare you to do that with another phone Do case. it to yours. No, I already That's did it to mine. Throw it, No, absolutely not. Oh, I'll throw it. Okay guys, link to the description. Pick up your rock form case. They're an amazing deal and they'll save your thousand dollar phone. So we have the tire slayer. We've lined it up next to the Performante. And Dave, it is your job to give a technical analysis of how this differs from the tire slayer. Sometimes when car manufacturers add an update to a model, it's like, you know, a logo here and there. This car drives completely different. It shifts way faster. The suspension's way tighter. It honestly feels like a complete, it feels more like the Squadra Corsa, how firm and planted it is, a little bit more rough. Whereas that feels more like driving like a Mercedes right now. Well, hold on. Do you just call your Huracan a Mercedes? It's very soft. Like it's very comfortable. This is more rigid. This is more fun. This is a beautiful car. Love the interior. Are Damn you it. listening to this? Over here, Matt. It's called the 610 Dash 4 a Mercedes. I didn't mean it like that. Lamborghini but sending us a cease and desist as we speak right now. Happening. Ferrari sent a cease and desist. Lamborghini's now sending one. It's very comfortable. It's plush. It's a bit muted compared to this. This is more raw. You're this right. This is more Squadra Corsa. This is a beautiful car. Would I even need to actually strip this down and put a race kit on it? Would I? Of course I would. Duh. What's it like looking at this car right now knowing that it's not yours anymore? Days being it. What's it feel like? You son of a. So here is the other option. If you guys weren't voting for the Performante, what if we went for the next step up? Rear wheel steering and the interior in this, Gabe, you were saying interiors get you, right? I You're, love interiors. Well, that's so, where you spend the most counts. time. Why don't we have a look at the inside of the Evo? Because the Evo has some really cool details that the Performante doesn't have. For example, it comes with now this crazy screen. That's pretty neat. This car's pretty cool. Do you have the key? And look at this, look at the dash. It does all the same things as the Performante does. So they put all that same tech in here, plus you have a touchscreen. All the different vehicle settings. I mean, this is this thing is pretty fancy. Let's look at some of the differences with the arrow on this car. It has this little duckbill slash wing. That is identical to the Performante. But it doesn't have the active arrow wing or the front diffuser, so it's not creating as much downforce, but definitely more than like a stock Huracan would. Gabe has never driven a Huracan before. Are, are you cool with giving him the key to your Huracan and he can follow us in the Evo? That's what friends are for. Gabe, Whoa. hop in there. Can I say goodbye to the Tire Slayer? I don't know if it'll be the last time you see her or not. I'm not sure if the new owner wants to do a video with us, but just in case, let's say goodbye. It's a moment. Saying goodbye. Oh, I wish that you had him pull the trigger. Shot me down with my bitter heart. Blood is getting thicker. Oh, shut it out, shut it out. Oh, I wish that you had a pull the Shut me down with my bitter oh, heart. Blood is getting thicker. Could be goodbye for all of us. All right, we're moving on, let's go. Get in the Evo. All right guys, so one of the things I've noticed right away, the Performante is all Alcantara, which is sick. Like it's just so cool having that stuff everywhere, an Alcantara steering wheel. This is more like the standard Huracan steering wheel. But 
it now has the infotainment and all that stuff in the touchscreen. The first thing we're gonna do is leave it on the LDVI. I can't remember what it stands for, but it has to do with showing you all the biases and the power that is going to the front and the rear diff. It's pretty fun to watch, so let's go. We're gonna do it right now. Look at what it's doing. So we're mostly rear wheel drive right now, yeah. and no front wheel drives. Oh, oh. And we got rear wheel steer, so I wanna see how that affects the drivability of this car. Oh, dude. That actually is a total trip. Lamborghini, you son of a You always do it. Wow, that is cool. At low speed. New tire slayer, you guys. And you have a say in it. Should we go Evo all-wheel drive? Should we go Performante? Should we go two-wheel drive Evo? Those are the three choices at the moment. You know they're coming out with a final edition Huracan. I can only imagine. It's got the roof scoop, the chassis mounted wing, kind of like oh, the Super scoop? Trail race car, but the difference is the race car is always going to be more aggressive, right. like way more aggressive. There we go. Lambros! <laughs> interior so the question yeah. again we need it to be do we really need it to be two-wheel drive should I get an all-wheel drive I'm down to build the craziest version of any Huracan anyone's ever seen we're gonna do the same things we're gonna boost it we're gonna make it nuts we're gonna slam it we got wheels and I have this super trofeo Evo race car kit you guys it's the craziest that car can ever look it's gonna be insane but what do we want the base to be built off of this or Performante. Look at this. What an absolute beast. It looks insane, this car. And I'm feeling the green, man. I am feeling the green, the mean green. I'm jumping in with you, sir. You ready? Yes. You have a co-pilot? Yes. How's the experience been so far? It's fun, man. This thing sounds great. Oh, dude, it's, this thing's nuts. It's got the FI. You want to show Dave up? Give me some revs. <laughs> One more time, sir. <laughs> That's no joke. That destroys the sound of that, but we knew that. We already knew that. Right. Let's do this. See, Gabe's in sport mode right now, and he's got the basic gauges. I'd be excited to have an Evo where we have the crazier. Woo! I like how I, I like how I pretend like we're going really fast, but we're literally doing 49 kilometers an hour, completely doing the speed limit. That's the best thing about Lamborghini: is it sounds and looks like you're going faster than you are all the time. Oh, look at the smiles. Dude, those pops are insane. You love it? They're so insane, yeah. So would you ever think about getting one of these cars now after a Porsche? Uh, I mean, maybe. I I do love Lambos. Like, you can't not love them. They're just so wild and, like, obnoxious. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> thoughts? What are your thoughts on the Huracan? 
much faster than my car. It's much more dramatic than my car. It's a lot of fun. I love it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You actually fit in here pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's, it's We're really bigger good. dudes. It's, it's not easy to find a car where you fit. You have fun? Yeah. You get on a little bit? Yeah, I, do. I can hear a pop, 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 pop behind me. That tune is aggressive. <laughs> it's very aggressive. We have like plus, 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 plus in the pop. F7 plus pop. Question is, Performante? or Evo. Evo all-wheel drive or Evo rear-wheel drive? I want to know you guys have to comment in the comment section below. We're going to buy a car from August Luxury Motor Cars, 84 McCurdy Place. Comment below. We will make a decision. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Smash the subscribe button. Join the DD fam. We are super car shopping yet again. Once we choose one, modifications will start. See you guys in the next video. I love you. Peace. So it's like right when you get in this and you're like, no, this is this it, this is it, this is it. And then you get in this and you're like, oh damn, this has a little oomph that this doesn't have, but this got an oomph that this don't have. And then you're really confused. Wow, you're a great salesperson. Oomph, 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 oomph. What's your, what's okay, your, this is getting bad.